Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode where I'm going to be playing Disgaea and this time I'm going to be focusing on two summoning events that are happening right now. So there's one that took place uh, about a week and a half ago and that is uh, the Defender of the Earth summoning. And I didn't get a chance to talk about it, mostly because I didn't have the courts to do any summoning. But I, I figure I should have still talked about the units, uh, the heroes anyway. But now that there is another one that has come out, which is the beauty summon, this is actually a perfect time to sort of talk about where you should you focus on spending your courts. And so to do that, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the heroes. And um, so last time I did the summoning, I, I didn't know how to do it. And so thanks to the, the comments. The way that you can get to see the new heroes, even if you don't have it, is to take a look at the featured button. So the green button here. And if you click on that, it's going to show you all of the new featured heroes only, plus the skills and ability, which is what you want to look at. And so for the uh, Defenders of Earth summoning event, there are three heroes, uh, Gordon, Jennifer, and Thursday. So if you take a look at Gordon's uh, ability, you can see that uh, the main ability here will provide gun users, fist fighters, and also any monster physical wielding allies to have an attack uh, boost of 16%. And if you take a look at uh, Jennifer, uh, same thing, gun, fist, monster, uh, physical wielding types will have a decreased cost of uh, SP. So you can, uh, you can actually cast your spells quicker because the cost of all of your spells will be lower by 7%. Then finally, Thursday's uh, ability here uh, will increase the damage dealt uh, of gun users, fist um, fighters, and monster feel, uh, physical wielding allies. The damage will be increased by 12%. So this is all about increasing your allies. If you are, you know, if you primarily use, uh, you know, guns and fists as your weapons, or if you use monsters that have uh, physical wielding, uh, that is when you're going to get the benefit. And so. If you if you main those units, that will be really good for you. But I don't use any of that, and so I kind of felt that it wasn't necessarily something that will be an you know immediate benefit for me. Now, having said that, any heroes you play with, you can you know you can get them to boost that particular weapon. Like they can use all weapons. Uh, it's just that for me personally, I haven't specialized in any of them, and. Uh, it's just not as much of my playstyle right now. Now the other thing we can take a look at also is the skills just to see if there's any interesting skills here. So uh, what I'm looking for when I'm looking for skills, really I'm just looking for are there any affinities or anything that is additional to or any elemental attacks to, to the skills. And so you can see here uh, Gordon doesn't have any uh, any any elemental skills, neither does uh, Jen Jennifer and uh, Thursday doesn't have it either. That's not to say that they're not good units, it's just that they're not really the units that I found to be uh, to be as useful for my personal playstyle. And so when this uh, beauty pageant event came out, uh, then I took a look at the uh, the featured heroes and there are two. So there's the girl Laharl. Uh, if you take a ability, uh, it, it gives all allies an increased uh, attack and um, and INT, I don't actually remember what INT stands for, but I I imagine that has to be had to do like intelligence, which would be like you know your spell attack. Uh, so that is increased by thirteen percent. And if you take a look at uh, mid boss, the ability here uh, gives all monster allies a stat boost of eleven percent, except for speed. All right. And if you take a look, sort of like next step here, uh, it also uh, at ne1 so if you if you can nether enhance it once uh, the first ability or sub ability gives you monster allies damage uh, boost by its skills by 12 percent so this card uh, this hero mid boss is going to boost the um boost desco really really well and desco is actually a unit i'm trying to main right now and so that he actually is one that i think is going to be great for me if you take a look at the skills, uh, so you've got a level 50 beauty blast that has an elemental, uh, earth elemental uh, attack along with it as well. And, and if you take a look at uh, the girl Laharl, uh, the spell uh, is the same as the regular Laharl, so it has a fire elemental at the blazing knuckle. So to me, I personally find that mid boss is going to be the best unit for me to use. And if you also take a look at the, the, the free heroes here, so I'll show you what I got. So for this particular event, uh, the free hero that you're able to get is this one right here, which is, uh, I'm trying to remember her name here, uh, Rainier. Okay, so Rainier is another monster type card. If you look at her utility, uh, it gives you um, all stats, you know, increase of 
um, 12%, but if it's only a magic monster wielding um, um, ally. So again, this is a little bit more specialized, so you have to, 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 to wield uh, the, the dragon egg to get that. Get that. Uh, but if you look at the sub ability, uh, it will automatically give you all, uh, give all monster allies an AOE damage increase of 15%. So if you take a look at Desco, Again, what I said is like I'm, you know, my primary unit uh, hero right now is Desco. So Desco's skill is all about you know arrow AOE attack. Okay, so final boss arises is the one that I use uh, all the time. It gets me out of a lot of uh, situations really quickly, and it takes out all the units uh, in in a wave. And so increasing her her AOE damage and increasing her her damage overall is going to make her that much stronger. So there's a lot of really good affinity. And so, in my opinion, I'm definitely going to be going for uh, this particular summon compared to the Earth Defender one. So I don't quite have 15,000 uh, quartz, so I can only do a uh, nine summons, but that is what I'm going to do right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, uh, we're not going to go to the paid one. We're going to go to the one where I can use my, my free quartz. So let's go ahead and do... Uh, we're gonna do nine pulls with this and see if we can get mid boss uh, with these pulls So let's take a look and see what we get here. So there are only two featured heroes and that is going to be uh, Girl of Harl and also uh, mid boss, but there are still other four star units that are available here So we I didn't take a look at the rates there, uh, but we're hoping that we can get lucky here So let's go ahead and see what we get. All right, so we get a bunch of two stars here uh, sometimes you also get these like surprise four star units, which is which is nice. So I'm hoping that we can get some uh, But let's see so first pull so far uh, Not getting any four stars out of it. Uh, we do get uh, two three stars uh, But I, you know, uh, these are units that we're gonna have to or heroes that we're going to use to uh, hopefully um, Upgrade them. We're gonna awaken them so that we can eventually get to a six star. All right, let's go for a second pull So we can get a total of nine pulls here. I'm hoping for at least one uh, mid boss because it is going to be really helpful all right, I see three shiny circles. Let's see what uh, they come out to be. Hoping for some of them to be a, a good pull here. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we've got uh, three golds here. No, uh, not, a, not 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 anything that are guaranteed four stars just yet. Okay, so let's let's take a look here and see if we can get lucky. Uh, we might also need to take a look at the rates afterwards just to kind of see because it, it doesn't you know compared to my previous pulls, it definitely feels like. Um, I'm not getting any four stars and two pulls, which is rare. Like all of the previous pulls I've done so far, I've gotten at least one. All right, so let's go back and take a quick look at the rates first, just to just to see. Right, so if we take a look at the rates, uh, so 0.7% chance to get uh, Girl Laharl and Mid Boss, and almost double the chances of getting Laharl, Etna, and etc. But there is a 3% chance. So it's a 3% chance of pulling. So not that great. And a much lower chance to get either mid boss or Girl Hall. So we're keeping our fingers crossed, and let's see if we can uh, we, if we could get lucky there. So that was pull number two. Let's go for pull number three right now, and see what we get. So two shinies. So two that are uh, at least three stars. Now let's see. So let's go ahead and open up that urn, and so two. Two gold, so no guarantee four stars just yet. So again, that's a 3% chance of uh, getting a four star card. So both of those golds turn out to be uh, three stars. And no surprises either. It, it is really interesting because I must have just gotten like ridiculous luck in the previous pulls because I did a couple of 10 pull uh, events and I was able to get a, a bunch of them, right? So, so far three pulls, nothing just yet, but we're gonna keep going, okay? Uh, these are free quartz that I managed to save up and so you know, the one thing I do enjoy about this game is that um, it's easy to build up. Every time they have these summoning events, they give you an opportunity to, to build up a lot of quartz. And so I'm happy about this. So like, even if I don't end up getting anything, I'll be I'll be a little disappointed. But it's still something that, uh, you know, I can use in the future. Like some of these units I can actually uh, uh, evolve, awaken to four or five stars and I can use them as well. So we'll see. We'll see. But right now... So that's four pulls so far with nothing. It's a little bit sad, sad face there. Uh, but let's take a look and see if the fifth one turns out to be any good. And we do have uh, some dragon zombies. So I have quite a few of those. I am, I am thinking about a uh, fielding, maybe like a dragon team. I think that'll be kind of interesting. But right now, we're hoping for mid boss. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Only two shiny ones this time. All right, this is pull number five. We only have four more to go. 
So can we get one out of the two? And if we do get one of the two, we're hoping for it to be uh, mid boss, right? Okay, so we don't have it so far, Twin Dragon, uh, Rabbit. Yeah, so this is just a uh, kind of a sad pull right now, unfortunately. Uh, unlike the previous event where they kind of give you a guarantee four star. So remember the the uh, the previous event, uh, summoning event um, that I did, you had a guaranteed uh, four star for every five pulls there, all right? And now we also have run out of space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and awaken a bunch of my units. So this is what I've been doing. I basically would just go and awaken all and I would just awaken a bunch of these two stars to three stars. You can only do one stars and two stars, but that should open up enough space uh, for me to, uh, I, sh I should be able to uh, open up enough space to, to pull some more. And so let's see, so we can get another four, right? At least four. Yes, we can do four pulls here. So let's go ahead and do four. And um, hopefully we can get something out of the, the remaining four pulls here. All right, three shinies. Let's see if any of them turn to be a guaranteed four star card. At this point, I would be happy with any four stars <laughs> rather than just the ones that I'm actually looking for. All right, so still nothing. Everything is still just a guaranteed three stars right now. Nothing more. So this is... This is quite interesting, like, you know, um, I haven't done a poll in a, in a while, and so not getting anything right now out of, uh, I guess this is now six pulls. All right, six pulls, no four stars. Probably just means we're going to get a bunch in the next three, right? So let's see, uh, let's see what we get. Three more pulls remaining, and let's go ahead and do our uh, final three pulls, all right? And again, the goal here is trying to get Girl of Harl or trying to get mid boss or any other four star units would be fine with me. But a you know having a three star uh, three percent chance is pretty low. It is pretty low uh, to, if you think about three percent chance like each of these with three percent to, to obtain one. Um, so my hopes aren't quite as high now that I've kind of gone through this. So I'm hoping that if you do get through, go through them, you get luckier than I do. And here's one. So we do get our four star. And which one is it? Let's take a look. And we do get Valvatoris. So I already have this one. That means I'll be able to get it to, uh, I'll be able to, um, you know, get another enhanced. But unfortunately, it's not one of the ones that uh, I was hoping for because I, it, it is, you know, at, what is it? 0.13% as opposed to point, uh, where is it, 1.4%, uh, uh, something like that. It, it, it's basically double the chances of pulling a um, what, uh, either girl Laharl or mid boss. Now, I think there is going to be one here that's a guaranteed four star. I think one of them is, you know, a different shiny, right? And so there it is. Yeah, so there is one. So you can tell before ahead of time whether you get a shiny, uh, you know. So it's there's shiny and then there's like the extra glittery shiny. So we have one at least that's guaranteed. Let's see if any of these other ones turn out to be like a surprise uh, four star. We did get one from the previous one, uh, but it's not going to happen this time. So let's take a look and see what we get this time around for our four star. And it's Kilia. So another one I already have, unfortunately. So not a, a four star that I... I um, and looking for and i think this might be our last one so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we get okay so nothing here no guarantee three uh, no guarantee four stars really keeping our fingers crossed here gotta really keep our fingers crossed for a mid boss here now if we don't get it it's not going to be in the world because i do have um other units that are going to be uh, helpful here especially with rainier i think rainier is going to be just fine uh for my purposes here because what i want to try and do is i want to try and get um sort of monster um a monster team going and i'll talk about the setup i can i can use after this all right so Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything. We got two two more heroes remaining. Any of them will be a surprise four star. Doesn't look like it. Last one here, and we end up with an undead. All right, so we also run out of space, but you know, at this point, we don't have enough gems. We are uh, quartz. I needed 1500, I only have 12 uh, or 1020. So let's go ahead and do some more awakening so that I can clear some of that space. And we will talk about the team that I'm going to feel. All right, so let's go ahead and and awaken here now we can go back and talk about the party so despite the fact that i wasn't able to get uh i wasn't able to get uh mid boss which is unfortunate but what i am going to talk about is a team that you know um that i think that we want to try and feel and i mentioned i wanted to try and feel like a monster type boss a team and so it's going to be these three so we have rainier so if you take a look at rainier 
She will be able to uh, increase monster allies AOE damage and I have two copies of her uh, currently so I'll definitely be able to do that. And then there's also Curtis. So Curtis has, uh, you know, the uh, it, it, so Curtis because it's for coming from the, you know, the defenders, the earth, of, the defenders of earth summoning. His ability is very similar in that it gives the um, stat boost for only physical monster uh, weapon wielding allies. So it's going to be the one with like sort of like the hammer uh, looking um, weapon. And so this one isn't really going to help my monsters as much unless I can feel the, the weapons. But really uh, just having Rainier is going to be able to give my uh, Desco a, um, a good boost. All right, and so I haven't gotten the second copy of Desco. I really, uh, I, I do. I just haven't, um, haven't decided whether or not I want to use her to awaken. Just I might want to actually level up my second copy of Desco. I may actually use a, um, you know, I, I might actually use a Prinny to awaken, uh, to, to, to another enhancer, so I can get the defense by, you know, the, the uh, defense minus fifteen percent uh, boost, which I think will be kind of nice. But anyways. My goal here is I'm going to try and build up a monster team as well. I um and I think you know uh, going with Desco main and monster um, support is going to be really good. And Rainier is good. She you can get her for free. Okay, and it is in this event right here. If you take a look at the Nether um, Beauty Patching event, uh, that's what you can get exchanged for. So. Uh, with any of these events, there's always possibility of getting five heroes here for free. I generally get three copies total, and then I spend the rest of my uh, points on getting these uh, sort of level two and three gems. But I think that this is a really good way to get some free heroes. And to me, I think that this is a much better option than the Earth Defended one. So if you do go for it, take notes. The rates are really low, so you're not going to be be getting the heroes as uh, as easily as as you would like. Uh, I definitely noted that compared to the previous pulls, so keep that in mind. But even without it, I think getting the getting the free hero Rainier is uh, still really good. Level her up, I think you're going to get a really good result, especially if you play with Desco. So that's gonna be it for uh, this video for the Skya guys. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy this uh, video. I really enjoy this uh, this game. It's it's just. It's just really, you know, a, a game where I can play at my own pace and I will come back with other videos on how to do certain things, you know, how to optimize on your leveling and farming for, um, you know, for resources, etc. in future videos. And also, if you are, um, if you're subscribed to the channel, I do, I will be doing Monday videos um, starting next Monday where I will be talking about, you know, new games uh, mobile games i'm gonna be calling it mobile mondays so you know stay tuned hopefully you enjoy the content and thanks a lot for watching all right guys take care i'll see you next time bye now